crowd of about 10 people watching. No pressure. Right, I'm gonna go. The seven iron. Nice little downhill lie. Absolute rocket. Not a bad shot, Matt. It's landed, huh? Nice position. Beautiful. Made up for the last shot. Dan's got about 200 to go. He's gone with his favourite club, that he, the only one he ever uses, trusty hybrid. Could go round the whole thing with this and the putter, probably. <laughs> gone past my ball just on the edge of the green. Uh, Not bad considering he hasn't sung a club for four months. He's, I think he's showing off a bit. I'm just, I'm just glad they're going quite straight, that's all. For now. For now. That can soon change as we know. Yep. It's nice weather today. We're back out down at Garrens, which is my home course. No carrying clubs. No carrying clubs because Danny hates so that. I'm happy. It's about 10 degrees. I've got my shorts on but it's a bit cold. A little bit of a wind but it's not raining so can't complain. What are we about 50 yards? Slightly try. uphill. Huh? Slightly uphill. I'm not that good to take things like that into account. I'm go a nice little 60 degree. Caught that a bit thin. Oh. And over Just the back the of the green. Just off the back. See if Dan can do any better. Playing with my dad today and he just stuck it right by the pin, showing off. Oh, oh. not bad, not bad, That's happy with that. Jazz. Happy with that. All right, can we get a bogey? Got the line Slightly completely it, wrong there. Slightly over it. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, on his first, first hole. First hole back. After four months. Parred it. Can only get worse from here on in. <laughs> Alright, double bogey for me, hopefully. No. Nope. Oh. Blimey. Sad thing is, I've been playing all week as well. This is my third round this week. So I haven't even got an excuse. Triple bogey then. Hole two here on the west coast of Garrett's. Danny's got the honours after getting his par on the first. See, it's gone to that way again, look. Over to the bunker, but that's not too sad. In oh, the bunker, it. that's really sad. I think it is. Yeah, I mean, I always aim. I seem to aim that way and I should be aiming over there. It always happens. Now I was hitting driver all right on the range. But then bottled it on the first hole. Bottled it on the first hole. And scuffed it anyway. Scuffed it and now found the minerals and going for it. Second hole. The driver's making an appearance. Let's see. Connection, but you sliced it in the pond, probably. I oh, know it's just gone That's over just the bunker. The ditch. I think, I think you're all right, though. Yeah, it's cabbage there, so I would have yeah. slowed it down. You can take that, take that, Mr. Day. Consistent on the driver. Look at that. That's that's my range session. <laughs> so, golf is back. It's back. 
locked down for far too long. And we're back now. Now, I'm lucky enough that I've been able to play a couple of times this week, but this is Danny's first swing of a golf club for nearly four months. So, how are you feeling about it? It's not, not going too bad, pard the first hole. I'm in the bunker for the second, but, you know, that's what I'm good at, getting out of bunkers. I spend so much time in them, so I can't really be too disappointed, but, yeah, it's nice to be out. It's like being freed from prison after, <laughs> after prison, having you got no six, to be six there. months, no parole. Um, let's hope it stays like this now and we can keep going out and we've got no more lockdowns and stuff, so. Danny, Danny's all jabbed up, so big shout out to AstraZeneca. Sorting out our man. Yeah, nearly killed me, but you know, a few hours of near death, and now I'm all protected, so it's all good to go. We move. <laughs> right. We're all good. Let's get going, show you around, see how we get on. He claims to love bunkers, but does he love a bunker shot that's got to get over another bunker, a lake, a tree, another bunker to get onto the group? Hello, bunker, I've missed you four months. Straight in the next Loves one. bunker so much he's got into the next one. <laughs> Hello, bunker, my old You friend. know what? I know. <laughs> Take two out of the bunker. Now he's in the second bunker. Now he's only got a lake, a bunker, to then get onto the green. <laughs> Started so well. I told you it can only go no, down here. It's so bad. If this don't get out this time, I'm just going to chip it out there, which I should have done in the first place. I'm surprised you're not using your hybrid. That's why it's not working. It's stupid, isn't it? That's why better. I do that first time. Has it gone in that bunker? Probably gone greenside bunker, is it? Probably. All right, I'm in the long cabbage here, so I'm going to try and get 52 over and onto the green. Clear that green side bunker as well. It's out of the cabbage. And it's not in the, I'll take that, it's just on the edge of the green next to the bunker. Well, there's four bunkers on this hole and Danny's now been in three of them. And he does claim to be a bunker expert, as you know. So this is probably one of the worst bunkers on this course. But I'm away on holiday. It is. I might put the towel down. <laughs> the only holiday, only holiday you're getting this year. Oh, I hope not, mate. I hope I do get out. This is a bit steep. Oh, he's out. There you go. I've been watching a Rory McIlroy video, he says 52 degree, ball near the front foot, wait on your front leg and turn round into it. Never heard so much nonsense in all <laughs> That's my life. Rory ain't winning anything. <laughs> uh, you took yourself into that. Yeah. Don't quote Rory McIlroy because, <laughs> got to be honest, he's been pretty, pretty terrible lately, so I wouldn't be using him as a guide. Right. 60 degrees, let's try and flop this out. Well, that's that. well out. Got a good connection on that. Bit too hard. Bring back the rakes. Bunk's in good condition. It's not a bad part. Speed was oh, all right on it, but the line just out. We've had to prop the camera up against my trolley because it keeps blowing over, so apologies for any poor angles. This is a shout out to our youngest viewer, my niece Sophia. She's two this weekend, she loves watching all the videos. So, hello, Sophia. Uncle Matt says hi. Hopefully the wind holds off. Oh, I've not got enough club. OK, 
in that, be on for a par, another par. Clean strike. Not long enough. A bit short though. Yeah. You can get up and down though for a par. Well, I could. Mathematically. Three pars in a row. A bit like South End Survival of football this season. Mathematically they're safe, but I don't think they're gonna make it. Oh, that was so good. we've already had a golf dream versus reality first of back-to-back -back pars for both of us, making us look like we know what we're doing when we really don't. Let's see if we can get a hat trick of pars each. Par three here. It is too long. Right of the green. Just off the green. Tip because I've been doing it all week. Not saying it works every time, but Matt, Rory again. It works works better it's than not, my not chipping good, Dalbilly. Not a good sign. Yeah. A little bit too hard, but Rory was yeah, right. Yeah, I, I think you need to stop quoting Rory. At least pick someone else like JT or. DJ or no, Jay, you know Jay, I mean? Jay someone tarnish his name now. Danny's going for his favourite trick here. Learn, learn from Liam Harrison, a golf mates. Golf mates, yep. The shout out to Liam. Fan of that channel. And a big I'll shout probably, out to I'll Lee. probably talk this shot up now, and it won't work. Yep. Still works. <laughs> Not bad. Thanks, golf mates. Third hole. Darren's West. About 120 to the flag. Cheating there, look. But it is. But it is into the wind. Now Matt's put that back. Had the extra yards. That's 119. Mate. Good draft clubbed up to pitching wedge. Wind's quite strong right. on this hole. Clean strike. Sit down. What's it got? Oh, That's all right, nice shot. Perfect distance. Caught that fin as well. Lucky I did. Can't act the cold, can he? No. Take that. There's mine. Matt's going. Going long. Going long. I'm going to use my little friend the wind. Send I'm it. Cut the hole. Looks alright. Bit of a fade on that as well. Not that I meant to put a fade on it, but there was one. That's what you want on this hole, you don't want to draw. Nah. We straighten the bushes. Tough shot for Dan out of the first cut. Pins the yellow flag you can see in the distance. luck with that the trees hate me not just the trees. other people I see go through the bushiest tree you can't even see through it and it go ball go straight through untouched not really used this as soon as Matt strikes his four iron he's gonna have used it Once. more times than I've used mine mine's just for show mine's just for showing off now it's gone right at the green net. Hard to see that. Hard to yeah, see. shot past the green. Well, first oh, impressions, new four iron. Well, it goes over 200 yards, so that's not too sad. Yeah. eBay special. 
We're here in the wilderness where Danny is taking his second shot. It's on, it's got to go on. No. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's on. Oh, can't get back up. So, a few holes around here at Garen's. Danny's had three pars back to back and started with a par. Through six holes, he, I think he had a double or triple bogey in between that. Yeah, getting steadily worse. So, it's hard. I don't really want to talk about the round until the end because a lot can go wrong. One hole can change it all. So. You can't help but look at the score because they're added up on, on the phone rather than on, a, on the uh, scorecard. So then obviously you could just leave it and add it up at the end, yeah. but it does it for you. So I do know what I'm at at the moment, but what will happen at the end, who knows? Could get a couple of tens, so see what happens. And in golf makes fashion, they've got old man Pat, we've got old man Pete. 